Hey guys! So, sa video na to, pag-aaralan natin how to find values of 6 circular functions. So, dito we are going to evaluate the 6 circular function values of the following angles. Number 1, we have negative 5 pi over 4 and plus 1, we have 8 pi over 3. Okay, so let's start with the first one. We have the angle negative 5 pi over 4. Okay, when we say finding values of 6 circular functions, gagawin lang natin, kukunin natin ang value ng sine of negative pi pi over 4, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Okay, so paano? So, ang given na angle natin, negative pi pi over 4, ay nasa region. So, ang gawin muna natin, i-convert natin siya sa degree. Simple lang naman, pag i-convert mo siya sa degree, i-multiply mo lang siya sa 180 degrees over 5. And that is equivalent to negative 225 degrees. Okay, kapag meron na tayong angle in degree, ang kukunin natin susunod ay yung reference angle ng negative 225 degrees. Okay, so draw tayo ng Cartesian plane. We have Negative 225 degrees, so counter uh, clockwise rotation. So we have 180, then we add 45. Okay, this is the negative 225 degrees. And therefore, the reference angle is this angle. Ang measure niyan, 45 degrees. Okay. So, makukuha na natin yung trigonometric point that corresponds to 45 degrees. So, ganito lang yan. So, draw lang tayo ng right triangle. So, we have 45, 45, 90. So, ang point na to, ang coordinates niya ay, ano? Ang coordinates niya ay square root of 2 over 2, then square root of 2 over 2. Kaso, nasa second quadrant ang reference angle, so yung x ay negative. So, negative square root of 2 over 2, then square root of 2 over 2. So, tatandaan, basta 45 degrees, ang opposite side niya palaging square root of 2 over 2. So, bakit yung isa square root of 2 over 2 din? Kasi, ito, ang measure nito is 45 also. Kasi, 45, 45, 90 yan. So, meron na tayong x and y coordinates ng trigonometric point. Then, alam naman natin na ang x is yung cosine, then yung y ay yung sine. So, makukuha na natin yung 6 circular function values. So, what is the value of negative uh, cosine of negative pi pi over 4? That is the x coordinates of the given point. We have negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, how about sine of negative pi pi over 4? That is positive square root of 2 over 2, the y coordinate. Then, how we are going to find the value of tangent? Tangent of negative pi pi over 4. So, alam natin, ang tangent is y over x or sine over cosine. So, i-divide lang natin yung value ng y dito. Yung square root of 2 over 2 divided by negative square root of 2 over 2. So, makikita natin, pareho lang sila but with opposite sign. So, therefore, the answer is negative 1. Okay. How about the next one, yung mga reciprocals? So, we have cosine. So, we have second. Second of negative pi pi over 4. Alam natin, ang second and cosine are reciprocals. So, kukunin lang natin ang reciprocal ng negative square root of 2 over 2. That is, negative 2 over square root of 2. Then, ira-rationalize. So, multiply ng numerator and denominator by square root of 2. So, we have 2 times square root of 2, that is equal to, we put the negative, 2 square root of 2 all over square root of 2 times square root of 2. So, just cancel the square root. Then, we have 
2. Dito, makakancel na yung 2. So, meron na tayong negative square root of 2. So, that is the value of second. How about cosecant? Cosecant of negative pi pi over 4. So, this is the reciprocal of the value of sine. So, we have 2 over square root of 2. So, pareho lang siya nung second, sign lang ang difference. So, therefore, ang sagot sa cosecant ay square root of 2. Okay? And the last one is tangent. Or rather, cotangent. So, we have cotangent of negative pi pi over 4. So, ang ating tangent is negative 1. So, reciprocal lang negative 1 is also negative 1. So, yan. Yan yung values ng 6 circular functions given the angle negative 5 pi over 4. Okay, let's have the last one. We have 8 pi over 3. Okay, ganun ulit. Kukunin muna natin ang equivalent ng 8 pi over 3 sa degrees. So, ganun lang. Imumultiply lang siya sa 180 degrees over pi. So, ang sagot niya is 480 degrees. And then, pag na-convert na sa degree, kunin natin yung reference angle niya. Okay, so we have 360 plus 90, 450, then mag-a-add tayo ng 30. 30 degrees. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, ang reference angle niya is 90 minus 30, which is 60 degrees. Okay, so then, kunin natin trigonometric point nito ng P of 60 degrees. Nasa second quadrant ulit tayo. So, draw ng right triangle. So, ang opposite ng 60 palagi ay square root of 3 over 2. Then, yung natira, yung horizontal naman, opposite na siya ng 30 degrees kasi 30 to 1 half yun. So, ang coordinates ay ang X muna, yung 1 half kaso nasa Uh, second quadrant, so we have negative 1 half. Then, square root of 3 over 2. So, meron na tayong uh, x and y coordinates ng given na angle. So, ang susunod natin, makukuha na natin yung 6 circular function. So, start tayo sa cosine. So, we have cosine of 8 pi over 3. That is the x coordinate which is negative 1 half. Okay, next we have sine. Sine of 8 pi over 3. And that is the uh, y coordinate. So we have square root of 3 over 2. Then tangent. So we have tangent of 8 pi over 3. So, that is y over x. So, we divide square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half. That is square root of 3 over 2. Get the reciprocal of negative 1 half times negative 2 over 1. So, we have cancel this. Then, square root of 3 times negative 1. So, negative square root of 3. That's the value of tangent. Next, the reciprocal of cosine is second. So, let's have second. Second of 8 pi over 3. So, what is the reciprocal of negative 1 half? Simple. Pas negative 2. Okay, then we have cosecant. Cosecant of 8 pi over 3. Over 3. So, that is the reciprocal of square root of 3 over 2. So, 2 over square root of 3. Then, multiply natin by square root of 3 over square root of 3. So, we have 2 times square root of 3. So, 2 square root of 3 all over square root of 3 times square root of 3. That is 3. So, that's the value of cosecant. And last one, we have cotangent. So, cotangent of 8 pi over 3. So, 
So, that's the reciprocal of negative, one, negative square root of 3. So, we have negative 1 over square root of 3. Or, multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. We have negative square root of 3 over 3. So, that's the values of the six circular functions for angle 8 pi over 3.